So I remade the opening credits from Secret Invasion without using any AI. There's just one small problem. I'm not an artist. Well, not the pen and paper kind at least. Looking at some of these shots, that's gonna be a problem. Luckily, I have a few other tricks and tools under my belt because I am an Adobe Sweet critic. Also known as a creative professional. I have a background in video production and I've recently started learning Blender. Before we get to that, let's tackle why I remade it. Oh, because it sucks. Okay, but more realistically, it's because I saw this as a fun challenge and a chance to one-up a media juggernaut. But I also wanted to use my work as a comparison point to show off what AI does really well and what it doesn't. So let's get cracking. I first wanted to tackle what I thought would be the hardest shots of the whole project to see whether or not it was feasible and to try some techniques before getting in too deep. I settled with the third shot, the spaceship. This was one of many shots with no clear shortcuts. Luckily, the shot already looks pretty bad. It took around three to four days in total, including going back and eventually fixing it up, but I did it. I used brush strokes in After Effects to give it a more painted look, but it wasn't wasn't quite enough. Then I learned you can process video in Photoshop, and this project was immediately greenlit in my brain. Why? Because graphic pen. So the process is this. Make it in After Effects, render two different passes, brushed and non-brushed, process the non-brushed pass through a set of filters in Photoshop, then combine the processed and brushed passes, add in some animated textures, and bam! It's beautiful, or as beautiful as it's going to get while still getting this project done in a reasonable amount of time. After all that, I decided to do them all in chronological order so that I could see it come together more easily and keep me inspired. I wouldn't actually recommend this strategy to anyone, but it worked out, I guess. I might do a deep dive into how I pulled off each shot later, but for now, let's just quickly run through the shots and what made them difficult. The first shot was one of the hardest shots. This had to be done mostly in Blender. Still plenty of 2D elements and compositing. The second shot, I didn't realize until after I had made it how much complexity there is actually going on in the original, but it's hard to decipher what is intended and what is not. We already talked a little bit about the spaceship, but obviously the hardest part was the spaceship itself. Everything else was pretty easy. I think I could go back and make it much, much better, but I think the fourth shot is where I really started to hit my stride. I realized a bunch of really easy tech techniques, 2D textures, animated using a 3D camera in After Effects. Shot number five. There is so much happening and most of it is complete garbage. We have Nick Fury in the foreground or a scroll posing has him. It almost looks like we're in the interior of a ship, but the way everything moves is very deceptive. I decided to just go for very abstract. This is the second worst shot in the entire project. The hard part about faces is that they're kind of the antithesis of this style. A common trick that I have used, taking faces and taking things that have complex shading and lighting through Photoshop, running them through the cutout filter so that there's a lot less granularity to it. This one was rough, but don't worry. It's not the worst one. We will get to that. Shot seven, difficult in ways I didn't expect. I decided to make a bunch of animated faces turning and then comp those onto people. There were also some static poses, as you'll see if you look close enough. Shot eight, this one's pretty unremarkable. For the most part, I used either assets that I created or assets that were free. This one, I decided to just use a Marvel image of a scroll and Photoshop it because that's just an unnecessary handicap, not using assets that they had. Obviously for any time you see a Nick Fury or like a Samuel L. Jackson, I used a photo of them and then photoshopped it. Shot nine, this one I did the cheapest out of all of them because quite frankly, this was one of the shots that I figured isn't that important. There was no real reason to spend a bunch of time on it, especially when there were other shots that were more complex coming up. Most of this shot in terms of time to complete was in Photoshop. And in the end, it's mostly splotchy, noisy, like backgrounds and elements, but you can still see the horizon. You still get the silhouettes of the buildings. Shot 11, basically the same as the last shot. Again, after effects, lots of Photoshop work. 
Shot 12, literally the easiest shot, royalty free image of a handshake, colored one of them green, little abstract wavy bits, but I knew this shot was going to be so fast that I wanted to at least spice it up and make it less boring. Shot 13, this one sucked. Finding good free assets that fit the backgrounds of both of these images. I knew this shot was just going to suck no matter what I did. I had to do a lot of inference already, so I just took it the, the extra step, projected what I think they were kind of going for. Oh, shot 14, a photo of Nick Fury. Don't sue me. There was no real alternative. Again, no drawing skill, but I'm not making profit, so don't sue me. This shot that I vastly underestimated, I figured my time was better spent focusing on creating good foreground. My shot does miss out on some of the charm of this one. Shot 16, I am very happy with how this one turned out, even though I took major artistic liberties in getting it done. Because you can kind of tell the transformation going on within the subject here of this shot, but it's very clear and very ominous in my version. Whether or not you think it's better is entirely subjective, but I am very proud of how this one came out. Shot 17, dead simple. The hardest part actually was finding a good perspective shot like this of the White House. Because the thing is, this is not a feasible shot to take a photograph of because the foreground is missing a lot of elements within the garden outside of the White House, but I'm not gonna bore you with those details. This shot, otherwise, pretty easy. The worst shot of the entire project, in terms of my execution. I think the person in the foreground could have been a lot better, but at this point I was running out of scroll faces uh, that were head-on to use for this project that had at all usable lighting. Shot 19, the lady in the foreground was a major pain point. So the torso is different from the head, which is different from the feet, which is different from the arm. They're all different elements that I had to stitch together in order to get remotely close to the original shot. Shot 20, this is my favorite shot because it is just so f***ing cool. <laughs> I was so excited to do this shot. This shot wasn't particularly hard, it wasn't particularly challenging, but it was very tedious. This shot's awesome, from inception to completion. Shot 21. This one, I was scared of. There was no amount of royalty-free images of dudes standing that were ever going to get this job done. So what I decided to do was make the left side extending to the shoulders down to the arm, a separate element from that armpit and down section, and then make the head another separate element along with the face. It worked out. I didn't originally plan on it, but since these last four shots are sort of interconnected, I ended up doing them all basically in the same day minus some prior prep work because of the way that they interconnect. And I knew that these ones were going to be rough. So I decided to recreate them as good as I could without spending too much time on them and then focus a lot on the transitions. Unfortunately, the first transition was just very difficult. If I were to go back and do this, I'd probably just throw out the original camera move for the, this first shot because I think it would have been easier to have it zoom in, but I really like how the next one turned out. But the transition between the eye and the earth in the original is incredibly jank. I felt like I saw what they were trying to go for, but the AI just wouldn't do it. So I did it. And I think my transition is leagues better than the original, but let me know down in the comments, put my ego in check. So instead of doing a jump cut like the original, I decided to continue this string of shots that all connected and flowed into each other. Funny enough, I actually did these out of order. I started with the last shot because I knew that I could just have it zoom out from a zoomed in perspective. Very happy with this shot. Finally, with all of them done and some recreated music to not get immediately yeeted from YouTube, here's the opening credits for Secret Invasion without any AI or names. Enjoy.
Let's talk about some of the controversy and some of the arguments for and against this use of AI. I don't get the big idea. It fits the themes of the show perfectly. No, it doesn't fit the themes. The themes are mystery, deception, and figuring out who you can trust. There's no mystery here, and there's no deception. Everyone knew that it was AI. And then we have, but no artist jobs were taken, so who loses out here? Us. We lost out on a chance for artists to strut their stuff and show us something incredible just for an opening credits. And the artists lost out still because they don't have anything to show for it. Putting that in your portfolio would be disingenuous at best. And naturally, your follow-up might be, what's the big deal? It's just an opening credit sequence. My counterpoint is, why have it at all? They did the second worst thing aside from firing all their artists and making it entirely with AI. But more importantly, this opens the floodgates to other companies using AI and getting away with it, because clearly Marvel did. It won't be about fitting the theme. So the only person who really wins here is me because this project was pain and suffering incarnate. But I learned a lot more than you'd expect. Oh, and also all of those media outlets and content creators that you clicked on because you're a little internet content gremlin and the algorithm loves you. And so do I. Okay, it's time for a confession. I did technically use AI. But hold on, I didn't have a choice. In order for this to be a recreation, I had to use the official version as reference. And as some of you may have already put together, since the official one used AI, I technically used AI as my reference, which counts as using AI, which is what Marvel should have done. They should have used this AI as their reference because AI has a way of obfuscating, if not destroying, the artist's intent for a shot. So a lot of decisions need to be made in order to create and present a clear and cohesive image to the audience. Sometimes the artist's intent isn't that sophisticated. You know, some swirly bits in the background behind the subject of the shot. We saw that a lot. But with something AI generated, it's hard to tell what was the artist's intention apart from what is AI hallucination and shortcomings of the artist's description. So they could have used AI as a framework, a compositional reference for their final shots and no one would have known. And ironically, that would have fit the themes of the show perfectly. But I digress. They signed off on it and released it, so I guess you couldn't consider all of it intentional, which means we can only judge it for what it is, not what it should have been. And in this case, it is lazy and subpar. So judge mine as you see fit. I didn't originally intend to create something better than the official one, but something that clearly had intent behind it and something that you can actually decipher. Some shots are better than others, but at the end of the day, I grew a lot from this project, and I hope that Marvel also grows from this experience. So what shot was your favorite? Which one was the worst in your opinion? I'd love to know your thoughts down below to irreparably destroy my ego. Before I go, I have a challenge for you. Recreate the entire thing with only AI, all the way from the drawings, to the color, to the video editing, to the publishing. I wish you the best of luck. And as always, thank you for watching.